Assalamualaikum. Hello, hi to all my viewers and listeners. I welcome you all wherever you are. My name is Muhammad Masood Alam, and I am English teacher, teacher trainer, and uh, English writing is basically my hobby. And uh, as far as my qualification is concerned, I am master of philosophy in English literature and master of education. I have uh, uploaded seven videos uh, before, but uh, today I have chosen a topic. A very interesting topic, I think, that how a child learns his mother tongue when he comes into this world and uh, he um, becomes fluent in that language after four to five years, and he converses with his parents, with his family members in that language. Just draw. I want to draw your attention uh, towards the certain point that uh, whenever the child comes into this world, the first face that he sees, that he sees the face of his mother. Now from there on, the listening and speaking activity just resumes. Mother knows that the child does not understand what, he is, what she is going to speak. But in spite of all this, she speaks to him. She speaks to him in certain chunks. She, she uses certain chunks certain simple sentences and along with that sentences and chunks she performs certain certain gestures this is the main thing that I want to draw your attention now I just give you the example suppose a child is just crying and crying and mother just uh, hears that the child is crying she runs towards the child and she takes the child in, in her lap and she says Oh my dear child, what? Why are you? Why are you crying? Are you feeling hungry? Are you feeling thirsty? These are the questions. These are the uh, questions she she asks him, and she knows that she that the child will not uh, answer him. That she is that he will say that yes, ma'am, uh, yes, mother. I am just uh, feeling thirsty, or I am feeling hungry, or, or I am just having a having a, having a pain in my belly. No, but she continues with that activity. For example, she takes the child, a, a crying child in her lap and she says to him that, oh, are you feeling thirsty? Okay, just she puts the child uh, on the bed and goes towards the, uh, towards the container and just uh, brings a glass of water and the spoon with her and she says, oh, do not cry. I, I am just, I know that you are feeling uh, thirsty. She just pours the uh, spoon into the glass and take the water and then she she does like this like this she opens her mouth first and then lets the child open open his his mouth she does like this ah uh, and then he puts the water at the spoon filled with water into the mouth of the child now when she uh, opens her mouth the child opens his mouth as well because the child imitates what's going on before him and, and then he, the, the creator has given the child the ability that he is just listening the sounds and observing the visuals and the, it means visual encodings and he just relates the sound with the certain gestures. So this is when the child just um, uh, takes that spoon of water and he he feels that uh, um, his me his need is is met and he just uh, stops crying and even when the when mother just uh, he stops crying mother just taps uh, on, on his on his belly and he, she she just uh, cuddles type like this that oh i i know you you are thirsty and um, uh, these are the sentences she's going to to tell to this to the child who is just three to four year or four to five uh, months uh, in age S and in the same way the father just comes in and he speaks to the child as well okay uh, and um, he says to the child oh, how are you how did you spend the day I did not see you I was very um, anxious to see you and these are the sentences that he is going to deliver before the child and the child just um, says nothing but father, mother, brother, whoever 
are there in that house speaks the sentences speaks the phrases and and just shows certain kind of gestures and what the child do the child just relates those sound with the certain gestures now what happens next now again the child is crying and again the mother just takes the child in his inner lap and she says oh you are i i think you you are um, you need you, you know you need milk and that she tries to give him milk and but the child does not uh, drink and she she then says that okay 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 i think you are you are thirsty then she brings the the uh, the glass of water and she takes she dips the the uh, the spoon into the water and pours into the mouth and the child and and the same activity just goes on again and the child when he sees that she is with the water again and he stops crying as well at the same time now what happens why did the child stop crying so 